we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah. Hey, I got one more question about uh that uh that song with uh with uh Murray. Well, Murray. Yeah. That song hard as fuck, boy. You like it? How y'all put that together? Uh, I heard Murray come down here, and so I already had an open verse. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh, you know, three made this song for right away. I kind of I thought that too when I heard it. I'm like, that's a ride away type of song. He, 90, he did it. He ninety three wave. Wow. I'm like that most and, so hard. And we was calling while he was alive. Like you know what I'm saying? How hard is how hard is it for you to deal with that music with Mo being gone like that? And you, he meant so much to you. Uh, I smile because I'm proud of him. I was there. I was there for every song. You think some of the songs could have been better? Nine, yeah, yeah, cause three. See, some of the songs that y'all like, like you just said, you like that Murray song. It's cool. I I, I noticed that. Yeah, That's why I asked yeah, you a question. It's cool, but you know, three used to freestyle too much yeah. for me. Yeah. And you'll never know when he freestyling. Like, like, like if he rapping, it's freestyling. Some okay. sometimes, but when he tell when he go in the kitchen, that was the songs he wrote. Those be the hits. So people always say. Nigga, I, I'm telling you, I got a kiss of Flavor Blue. I'm, I'm going to get this out of my chest. People always say, uh, uh, you know, he made out beef. None of that beef song we ever performed. Okay. I ain't like that shit. That shit was some bullshit to me. All that beef shit, that shit was some bullshit to me. All the hits was the songs he performed in the kitchen. Well, before you say that, them songs were no bullshit. That. I love them songs, boy. I like them in the kitchen. I'm with you I, with I, that. I, I, I love them. I like them, but we never performed them. Yeah. Um, now you should have. So, yeah. so, so people be like, you know, he, he, Nigga, I heard niggas say, nigga, first of all, I'm too like that. I heard niggas sit there and say, uh, uh, he ain't had no fans before he died. You a fucking lie. My bad. Well, I ain't <laughs> never, I ain't never, I ain't never charged nobody no ten dollars for nothing. No C D, no nothing. So you know what I'm saying? The House of Blue, that's two thousand people. We, I can't even get two thousand the, the the government can't get two thousand people come in one room one day and take a COVID uh shot. So for well, we can get two thousand people coming in the House of Blue see Mo three perform. You know what I'm saying? That's facts. Ain't nobody in the city of Dallas ever about uh, outside of Post Malone and Erica, uh, Erica Badu ever brought two thousand people out. That other girl, that's uh, he's Tay, a different Tay. rapper. Tay Money ain't brought two thousand people out. She had no. Nah, that's four five hundred people, six hundred. But she doing she's a looking, thing. She's looking like she's killing it. Yeah, but but ain't nobody else brought two thousand people out. Wow, man. You know what I'm saying? Man. So 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 yeah. You know, uh, ain't that more three sold more albums than anybody in the city of Dallas. Here. All of them. Yeah, I'll, I'm talking about I love. <laughs> He's serious about it because yeah, he put that work in. I love. You got big. You got a big T ass Diamond D right now. I just talked to Diamond D. Diamond D. Diamond D now. My boy right who there. The number, Shout out who D. the number one seller that ever came out of city at the state of Texas at his shop? It's gonna be that boy Mo oh, Three. That's why they hated him. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk.